Okay, good, uh, good, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Jim McDougall, I'm a deputy rector at Hutchins Grammar School just about two or three miles from here, south side of Glasgow. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. It's a great privilege for me to be here. Uh, can I just say I'm very impressed with the organisation that Paul and his team have put together. It's a great testament to young teachers, teachers who are going to be going out into the future, uh, that you've organised this event. It's fantastic and a tribute to you also. Thank you very much. I very much welcome the opportunity to share this with you and your colleagues. I want to talk briefly about uh, the Model United Nations organisation with which I'm involved in my school. One of my jobs in my school is to deal with uh, international education and global citizenship. And through that I've become involved in the Model United Nations movement. Now obviously um, I'm to, talking to the perspective of a secondary school teacher. I'm aware that we have a mix of, of colleagues here from the primary sector and the, the secondary sector. So I hope this is of interest to all of you. What has Model United Nations got to tell us about global citizenship and, and educating young people for taking the place in society? Of course, the Learning Teachers Scotland, the Education of Scotland has a big impact on global citizenship. I'm lucky enough to serve on the Global Citizenship uh, Coordinating Committee along with the teachers from other authorities, of course. And the, the Learning Teachers of Scotland have produced a lot of very valuable information about global citizenship. Well, I want to talk specifically about the modern United Nations. Here is, of course, one of the key aspects of building the curriculum. It must be inclusive, stimulus for personal achievement, and through the growing experience of the world, be an encouragement towards informed and responsible citizenship. And to my mind, the modern United Nations movement, there are thousands of people involved in that, is one very good way to engage young people in international issues, in being global citizens, by working together collaboratively. We've talked a lot tonight about collaboration at different levels, different sectors, and I think Model UN is a very good way of getting folk working together. Developing global citizenship has got three main strands, as you probably know. There's citizenship, the general aspects of citizenship, both local and global, of course. Sustainable education is another strand. And thirdly, what you might call international education, learning about other places. Modern United Nations and CFE, Curriculum for Excellence, of course, four strands of Curriculum for Excellence on the screen here. Each of those strands can be addressed by the Modern United Nations. Confident individuals standing up, we're having to stand up and show confidence, speaking to our peers, to people we don't know, to show confidence there. To see young people, 14, 15, standing up in a room twice the size of this and talking knowledgeable about an international issue is something very impressive. Responsible citizens. Many of the issues debated in Model UN are about our responsibility to people in other parts of the world. Contrib contributing towards global issues, engaging with global issues, pollution, human rights issues, all sorts of issues are discussed in Model UN. And of course, by learning. It's all about independent learning. It's not about my standing up in front of a class and telling this is what you've got to learn. They have to go away and do the research themselves. Model UN is a big organisation. There are Model UNs throughout the world, international. So there are, there are Model UNs in Scotland and all around the world. Here is what I'm saying. It's, it's all about teamwork. It's about research. It's about writing papers. It's about debating. It's about speaking with confidence, thinking your feet. It's about engaging with people when you're lobbying in the hall, trying to get people to support your resolutions. It's about following particular rules. It's about knowing what are the rules of procedure, what are the etiquettes of debates. That's an important life skill to learn. When to talk, when to listen, when to give way, when to persist. It's about resolutions, writing an idea and seeing it through. And it's about, yes, dress. What's the right dress code for a, an MUN? What's appropriate to wear? How do you represent your country, your delegation? There are many schools now in Scotland getting involved in the modern UN movement and in the United Kingdom. The number of schools I've been to. So here's an example of a conference programme that usually held over a weekend. There's a variety of events. There's a sort of formal general assembly. There's the lobbying. There's individual committees. But it's all about encouraging young people to take responsibility and to learn about the world of which they're a part. Making resolutions, putting resolutions on the screen, talking to them. Lobbying, discussing, engaging, debating, representing each school represent a particular country, Mexico, Pakistan, India, whatever. Perhaps 600 young people involved in a weekend conference from schools, independent, state schools, small schools, rural, you name it, all sorts of schools. 
and young people learning to stand and speak with confidence. Modern United Nations is addressing some of the key millennium goals. Whether you are a primary one teacher or an S6 teacher or a university lecturer, we should all be aware of the Millennium Goals. As primary teachers, you'll be getting to inculcate our young people to think about people beyond your school, 